Greetings Mac Warriors, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online guys and today we are playing the Night Star 9P, yes the barnyard door in a Dakar and AMS configuration. Let's jump right into the build guys and as you can see we're running a light engine 300 and four ultra AC 5s combined with double AMS and three tons of AMS ammo and that is basically the build it is not very fancy there's nothing crazy going on here it is just straight out Dakar combined with the team utility from double AMS now this thing has a firepower of 20 times 2 of course because we double tap so 40 plus 35 uh, 53.5 speed and the heat management of 1.73 now that is a pretty good heat management and the fact of the matter is that the UAC 5s are going to jam at some point so heat management should not be an issue ever as far as tanking goes we have 129 front armor we've got 86 armor on the torsos and a good amount of structure to boot especially the CT structure of 105 is pretty nice so we can face tank quite a bit and do that quite safely okay let's jump into the skills real quick have a look at what we did here we of course went firepower tree for magazine capacity as well as the uh, enhanced UAC and rack nodes then we went into the survival tree, we took the full survival tree, including of course, very important, AMS overload 1 and 2, with a build like that, where you have double AMS and you build the mech basically around the AMS, then you have to take AMS overload 1 and 2, otherwise it would be a waste. Then we go into the mobility tree, we take the right hand side of the mobility tree to get a little bit more speed into our mech. Operations are not needed, but auxiliary and sensors are. In sensors, I chose to go for seismic 1 and 2 and radar deprivation 4 times, so we have 80% radar derp to make ourselves a little bit less of a target, because the AMS actually works better if you are AMS protecting your teammates from a frontal position because that way the missiles fly through your, through your bubble and have to travel longer through your bubble until they reach the target and that gives your AMS more time to shoot down these missiles. So it's a nice thing to have. And then auxiliary, I chose to go a double RT strike as always. Okay guys, let's take this thing into the dropship and see how it performs. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, on Kenyan Network, moving our Nightstar 9P towards the enemy targets. Our AMS is cocked and ready, our UAC 5s are ready, and there's our first customer, that's an enemy annihilator. Coming in, we're going to drop an artillery strike on him and start moving towards the safety of the ramp. And we get duck out all the way by it, but it's okay. The side torso on that annihilator is already open, the other side torso is also open, so this annihilator echo is ready to drop very very soon. AMS is firing a little bit at this moment which is good that means that some enemies are using missiles and that is what I like to see because that makes me feel useful. Okay so let's push towards the middle we see an enemy hellfire here in a brawling loadout. I ate him uh, AMS and uh, the uh, ability to shoot down these missiles will help quite a little bit with him uh, if he chooses to go on us. So we're just going to move to the side here and help on the Annihilator, help our teammate who's going quite ham right now. Um, he might have got a little bit too far. Yeah, he's taking quite a bit of fire from this side. Uh, let's go away so we don't block him from retreating and we just go to this side, drop the artillery strike on uh, this boulder and just hold the position right here. Try make sure that no enemies are pushing in towards the middle and go in on that annihilator, a mean baby that is a MRM carrier, but his side horse is already gone, so he is also ready to drop one more shot on his side horse. Ship do it, come on. There we go, we drop him. Beautiful. Okay, so far so good. The team is uh, two kills up at this point in time, and we are rotating towards the right side, which is perfect for us because that means we can potentially catch another enemy off guard at a bad position. For example, that Lurm boat or whatever that is downstairs in the Charlie 4 Gulch. Um, guys, never be in this position. You will just get rotated upon and you will just die horribly getting shot at by the enemy team. They will use you for target practice, which is exactly what we'll do with that Lurm boat once we see him. I'm just trying to hold this angle right now to see if there's any enemies coming towards us. Nope, never mind. There we go. It's an ATM, AC-20, UR-20, uh, and uh, we'll just go ahead and help our teammates to shoot at him and uh, murder him as soon as possible. And then we're going to take our attention elsewhere again back to the side where the enemy team is at. Come on. Will you drop already? Okay, there we go. High the drops. Unfortunately, some of my UX jammed, but that is fine. Uh, we have four kills over two now. The enemy was able to claw back a little bit, uh, so we need to be careful here. Dropping the artillery strike in the middle. Trying to write red smoke. Not trying to say anything. Ah, go back, guy. Yes, perfect. 
The teammates finally, finally, once in their life, they did not collect my red smoke, but I did collect a gauze round right now and my side throws is open. So I need to be a little bit careful right now because I don't want to die horribly here. And I want to make sure I keep the integrity of my mech and my fighting ability available as long as possible. So I need to protect my left side now. Um, luckily for us, that is the case. The enemy team is moving backwards a little bit and that allows me to get in a few shots and uh, not take any counter fire. And now, at this point, we are four kills over three, so we are only one kill in the lead and I'm going to try and hold these angles. And the reason why I'm holding the left side here is because, well, my left side is damaged, so if I get shot, I just twist to the left and that exposes my good right side. And uh, my left side is protected by the big boulder or by the big mountain to my left, so that will keep me nice and healthy. At least that is my plan right now. I will see if that works or not, but um, for now, I will not give up this position. I will just stay here and use that position to shoot at the enemies that are trying to flee and trying to rotate right now. And uh, so far, that seems to be working. We are having a good go at that enemy champion. Yeah, he should be dead in any, any second now. I've uh, got a Nightstar buddy here with me. So let's push around the corner and uh, take out the remaining enemies. Three enemies remaining at this point. We've got an Assault Mech. We've got, uh, what is that? A champion to the left, so let's go ahead and work on the champion first, take him down, and then work on the enemy. What is the one to see? And help take him down with our teammates. And it's only one guy from the enemy team left alive at this point in time. And there he is. It's an ice fret, it's an ice fridge. Let's go ahead and kill the fridge and steal all his nice and juicy beverages. Beautiful. Okay, guys, by the way, when you're dead, if you don't have anything good to contribute, shut up. We had one guy in the match who just kept on going and kept on complaining and it's just freaking annoying. Two killing blows, 10 assists, 3 kill most damage dealt, about 900 damage done, 7 components destroyed and 418 missiles shut down. Easy 651 match score, guys. If you like this type of content, if you would like to become an active supporter of the channel, check out my Patreon page and we are jumping right into the next match and look at that! We again get treated to the joy and the love that is Kenyan Network. And uh, we are moving in from a different side, this time different spawning points. But uh, I need to get my ass out of Charlie 4 as soon as possible because the enemy team is going to push in on the top side from Delta 5 to Delta 4 and they will shoot at us with no mercy. So the name of the game is get your fat ass out of there ASAP. And use AMS, of course, to keep your teammates safe. Uh, guys, the thing is, with the with the 4UX5s, this mech feels a little bit weird, and it's a very wide mech, so the convergence looks weird as well, but it is fine, Target generally speaking, acquired. as long as you make sure you are shooting from a position where you're not you hitting teammates left and right because you have so f wide slung arms. Um, and the AMS really helps. The double AMS is really nice as a team support, so um, I'm, I'm actually liking this build quite a lot. I thought it would be horrible, but no, nope, it actually isn't, okay? We find an enemy hunchback that has a sniper position in Delta 5. And uh, we will reward him for sniping at us by uh, shooting him with our U5s. There's also right. an enemy, what is that? Hellspawn or something? Um, and we also have. What is that? Summoner? Okay. Yeah, he's also hiding. Okay, so we've got three enemies in the. Uh, Opposing side, Echo 5, Echo 4. Uh, I also think we have a uh, light mech in Echo 3. Our lighter mechs are not engaging there, they're not jumping up there, unfortunately. So, the problem for us right now is we are boxed in big time. We take down one guy and we get one kill, yes, but we are boxed in big time. And I hate that. I hate that feeling when you have the enemy team in a uh, horseshoe shape mm -hmm. around you mm -hmm. and you can't do anything because, you know, if you push out, uh, your team is just going to stand there and watch you. Um, so, yeah, we're blocking each other right now. We can't really move. And if the enemy team is smart, any second now they should drop an artillery strike on us. And that is going to hurt. Ha! Look at that! Red smoke in my cockpit. Ha! Huh? Speak of the devil. Uh, let's try and get out of the red smoke. Okay, no, never mind, never mind. Teammate Corsair says, no, red smoke, let's move towards it. Make sure that DTB gets hit by it. Okay, sad face, okay. I'm slowly reaching the boiling point right now, guys. Um, I know at this point in the game, uh, I'm getting frustrated. I can't shoot at the enemies as much as I want. And I hate standing around doing nothing. So it is time to become active now. Let's go in on the Corsair, try and hit him. Nope, never mind. What do we have over there? Oh. Ooh, that was a nice shot. That might have been a cockpit kill if we were lucky. I can't tell because, well, there is no function in the game that will tell you whether it was a cockpit kill or not. But uh, that's just something that players have been requesting for years. So, you know, BGI, whenever you're ready, 
Whenever you're ready, please give us a cop with kill indicator. Okay, uh, getting shot in the back again. This guy is still there and still annoying, but uh, luckily he's dropping into the gulch now. So we can focus our attention towards Delta target. 4 and Why? towards bigger targets. For example, that annihilator that wants to be shot in the side torso. He's just begging for it. And I'm moving backwards now, guys, to try and crest target that uh, little ridge a little bit and just go on his side Acquire. torso. Basically, just hit the side of his neck and uh, take it down that way, which is exactly what we did. And now we go in on the enemy Corsair, twist a little bit, keep on firing and back out of there because his rack fives are jammed and uh, there's some red smoke coming in. Hopefully it doesn't hit me, but uh, I'm slow, so it might still, yep, it hit us a little bit. Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter, we will just keep on pushing forward and uh, trying to, whoops, hold that uh, right hand flank. And as I said, guys, um, do not walk in front of assault mix because they might be zoomed in and if they're zoomed in, yeah, they won't see you. It's 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 impossible, basically. They will only see you when it's too late and they will hit you inadvertently. So if you can, avoid it. Cross behind them, not in front of them. Or let them know beforehand. Use voice comms. I know, I know, I know, I know. It is preposterous. It's a sad glitch to actually use voice comms in a team game, guys. No, but really, use voice comms. Okay, taking down the enemy water to see. Now we can go ahead and deal with that pesky pesky grab uh, he's just red CT so one more shot should actually do it come on die already there we go teammates taking him down and it is 10 kills over one at this point so this one is definitely in the bag uh, which is actually interesting guys because um, looking at the beginning of this match you wouldn't have thought that this actually escalates like that where the enemy team just completely folds um, even due to the uh, fact that they had the better positioning for the beginning of the match and were really really hounding us but we made a slow but steady push and we were able to pull it out. One enemy target remains, it's the Archer from the beginning of the match and uh, he's just got LRMs and ear mediums and he's gonna get gobbled up by our fast movers and I'm just trying to get in range to get one shot in or maybe two. Nope, never mind. There he drops. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and have a look at the scoreboard. We actually shot about 3000 AMS rounds, which, which is very, very nice. And uh, our UAC 5 rounds are also looking okay still. Two killing blows, none assists, two solo kills, three KDDs, 859 damage done, and a bunch of missiles shut down, 600 match score. Once again, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Try this build out, let me know how it performs for you. TTB out.